Hello and welcome everybody back to some Grounded. Um, as you can see, I am coming back from a trip over at our picnic table base and uh, I was making us a bunch of new smoothies. Um, we had been out for quite a while and I thought it was about time that we fixed that problem. Um, so before I go drop the extras off at our new storage facility, um, we are going to make one quick modification here, uh, to our zipline, uh, hut. And we're actually going to get rid of our existing lean-to. Um, someone suggested last time, uh, it may have actually been a couple episodes ago now, but we go ahead and make a bed. A proper bed. And so, yeah, I think I will actually just go that original direction it had. Uh, I brought the materials down here. And that's what we're gonna do. Uh, so, let's see, I might... Eh, we can, we can kind of like put it in the corner like that. That looks nice. Uh, get some light in here. Uh, yeah. So, you know, bed. Uh, let's make sure to reset our respawn point here, uh, since we still don't have an official house for ourselves up at this location. Uh, we can go ahead and sleep till morning to get everything all nice and bright. Um, so I've actually done, in addition to making those smoothies, uh, I've done a lot of work since our last episode. Uh, let's see, I'll go don't ahead even and need to boil it. Uh, grab a drink right here real quick. Uh, but I have been, uh, I've been working hard, uh, I've been collecting lots of resources, um, I have been, uh, moving think. everything into our new warehouse, um, I've been trying my best to, uh, rotate a little bit more stuff through, uh, through our forge, that last mushroom in our inventory, uh, trying to do things like collecting things from our sap collector, all that good stuff. Um, I've not been exploring any new places, so you don't need to worry about missing out on any of that, but, um, and there haven't been anything exciting like, uh, any, any raids. Uh, I still am absolutely baffled that we have not had a, uh, a fire ant attack given that we had that, what, two or three episodes ago that they, like, wanted me gone, and I have done nothing but continue to just kill dozens of them each episode since. Um, but, uh, you know, having them just constantly around is kind of like a permanent raid in itself, given that so far the raids have not been terribly difficult. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I, I kind of finished off the interior of our warehouse. Um, I, uh, I went ahead and added a shelf above each door here, uh, that lines up with the top shelf that we already had on each side. Um, I filled everything in with chests, uh, both with our double chests and got all of our baskets in. Um, I also did put a lean-to in here, just like in our forge, uh, so that we can do a, uh, a nice quick little sleep if we need to in here. Um, I maybe added a bit more lighting. I think these lights, uh, in the little corners, um, are new. Especially at nighttime, having this extra light in here really does help. Um, and it gives a, a nice little glow. I think it looks cool. Um, oh, it looks like I've damaged a couple of structures. Um, let's, uh... Let's just fix that real quick while I am thinking about it. Ooh, especially if that applies to a couple of baskets. Okay. Um, good. Uh, so yeah, I've, I've tried to go through and um, bring up uh, basically all of our supplies from both of our previous bases and dump it all in here. So... Uh, and I've, I've labeled those chests for now. So we basically got trinkets, armor, weapons, uh, kind of miscellaneous, like, 
kind of tools, but not exactly tools, and then, you know, traditional tools. Um, over here, we've got our food, and I haven't made a icon for this, because I've only just started putting things in it. Uh, but this will be our smoothies, um, so I may as well uh, make our icon right there. So there we go, food, smoothies, and then rotten food. On this side, we've got produced goods, um, various nature-y things, and rocks. And I've still got a bunch of empty double chests on the top row. Over here is our massive collection of bug parts. Um, I didn't exactly give each bug one chest. I did kind of group some things together. Um, but we can continue to split that out if we need to. Um, but the bottom row... Yeah, I don't, I don't really need to go through all of this, but... Roughly ants and a couple of other things. We've got, like, our beetles, spiders, flying things, mites, oops, tiny bugs, all that kind of stuff. And then over here, I don't think I'm gonna keep this how it's currently split out, but, um, right now I've got, like, all of our upgrade materials split out by what type of, uh, upgrade material we've got, so... Like, spicy shards, mint shards, salty shards, and sour shards, and then the various uh, marble and quartzite. Um, I wasn't sure what icons to put on these, so that's why they don't have them yet. And then once you actually make them into globs, like a salty glob, they get a little bit different icon. Um, we don't have any spicy or minty globs at the moment, so I didn't put icons there yet. But that is roughly uh what i have done on this building um i don't think i changed too much oh other than i did uh i threw a sign up here because why not um we have not purchased a lot of sign designs yet so i put my fancy schmancy early access sign on the warehouse and eventually we basically need to go do some shopping uh at the science shop and get some more uh, more decorations available for this, and maybe we'll find something that's more appropriate for a warehouse. But, for now, I like the look of it. It breaks up just the, uh, wooden slats going across. And, uh, I think our warehouse is looking good. Um, I've also been chopping up some, uh, some stems and grass, and I put a few more pallets out here. Um, again, we'll, we'll put a structure, even if it's just like a little patio somewhere, to actually formally store those eventually. But that is nothing terribly urgent um oh you know what i put the wrong stack of smoothies away i meant to put the stack of 13 away and keep a stack of 20 so let me go fix that real quick there we go all right we are fully smoothied up oh and i i want to do one more thing um so transitioning into our goals for today um, today we are going to, at the very least, start out by doing some exploration. Um, there are a bunch of areas throughout the yard, uh, lower and upper, that we have not explored. Uh, so we're gonna kind of wander about and, uh, check out some of these, uh, unknown areas. Um, I'm gonna start with a couple that are right here near our base. Um, and, uh, we will kind of go from there. Um, I am wanting to do a little bit down in the lower yard just to make sure we do kind of continue to finish off that content. Um, but we'll, we'll hopefully get a little bit of mix of upper and lower yard today. Um, so the first thing on our to-do list is we did discover that in... The, uh, the pipe over here, right by our sap farm, um, and all of these mushrooms. Uh, I thought we had explored this pipe before when we did kind of one of our initial run-throughs of the upper yard. Uh, but I was mistaken. It was another pipe. And, uh, we did see that these roots are choppable with our nice tier 3 axe. But we had not been in here yet, and that is dark, so let's get our torch out. Um, okay. 
A scientific breakthrough. All right, that doesn't look like we can get through here. This is just a little, a little overlook. Interesting. So, you know what? That like lines up basically perfectly with where we need to use a bomb. I wonder if we will get in here later with that or if we just round this bend. Um, but in the meantime, we at least have upgrade materials. Um, is that all? That is all. Okay, maybe we just go right here. Uh, let's leave the slime mold for a moment, just as a light source. Doesn't look like I can go up there. Um, I may need to go back and get a different torch. Oh, <gasps> this can go underwater? I didn't even know that. Okay, we do have explosives. Can I not... Can I not throw an explosive? Alright, well, I don't want to drown. Ow. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This must be the same rock? Yeah, because that's the marble we can see. Oh, yeah, we got it. Okay. So I totally didn't know that the charcoal torch would work underwater. That makes me very happy. Excellent. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can get out of here, though. Ugh. Um, maybe? There we go. There's that milk molar that keeps activating on us. Well, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> cross that off our list. Get another milk molar. And, uh, interesting. So this is not the, um, the rock that was yeah. marked for detonation <laughs> on the surface. Uh, that's the rock that made me bring the bombs, actually. And that's a good amount of upgrade stuff. Um, okay, just a little more. And then, yeah, this is back to the water. I'll make sure if we dropped any that we'll pick it up on the way out. Uh, just as a little sanity check. Okay, so yeah, that rock is not anything special that can be blown up. That rock can't be blown up. Alright. Just gotta make sure. And then, did we drop any little marble bits down here? Don't think so. Well, now that we're heading out, we can take the slime, slime mold stocks with us. And that was a good little cave. Adventure one done. All right, since I'm running right by it anyway, let's just uh, make a quick swing by here, drop that stuff off. Ooh. That's one thing I should be careful of. I don't want to drop off the fuzz on the rocks. Did I get rid of anything else important? I don't think so, but I also forgot to do one more 
thing as far as preparation goes. And that's make another batch of splinter arrows. I did start running low. And I think to prevent this problem in the future, we'll turn off nearby hot deposit, because hot depositing smoothies, uh, I don't think, will be uh, super necessary. All right. Uh, next on our list is another upper yard item, and that is to see what is actually up with this explosive rock over here. Weird sounds back that way that I am not so sure about. All right. Well... Uh, let's see, since we're... Well, I'll leave the marker for now, just in case this ends up being something we, like, need to come back to in the future, but... Well, never mind. It's, uh, it's going bye-bye. So, let's see, let's get armed again, and since we're going underground, I have a feeling we're gonna want this torch. See another milk molar. I hear scary things. I, can I cheese this? No, let's not worry about cheesing. All right, looks spidery down here. Um, I don't have the best equipment to deal with spiders in the dark. Um. Hmm. We just go for it anyway. For the briefest <gasps> moments, the ranger paused in fear, for all knew that the bite of the Black Widow had no cure. What? Oh my gosh, I did not know that we were walking into a boss fight. At least kind of, sort of, you know. Um. Okay, okay, okay. Our resources were dropped, but I literally don't think that's anything. Because we literally just put everything away. Um... Okay, now I'm thankful for that change. I know that I said a while back that I'm like, Oh, I don't like this. It makes it too easy. Well, no. I changed my mind. Okay. Um, our armor is still fine. Let's, let's sit here and think about this for a moment. Um... What's our one smoothie here do? Edgelord is not going to help. Fuller and moist is no good to us. Um, any trinkets that would be better? Because I don't have this equipped, but poison... Like, negative poison resist would obviously be bad. Um... I don't think any of these would be that great, except for maybe the left elf charm. And, like, I may as well equip it. So let's do that. And then... We need light. What? I can make a fire ant shield and I didn't know it this whole time? I mean, is it any better than my ladybird shields? I don't know that it is. Oh, block corrosion, block free attack. I will have to figure out that out. Blah, blah, figure out what that means later. Um, all right, now we have 
spooters to deal with. Okay, flare. Gunpowder, fire ant. Alright. We're gonna make a handful of those. We're gonna equip those there. We're gonna put our bombs on our hot pouch as well. And we're gonna go for it again. And I have a feeling it still may not go great. Uh, I guess I should make sure that the Black Widow... Oh, it has no weaknesses. Resistant to fresh, slashing, salty, spicy, sour. Um, interesting. Chopping. Busting. Stabbing, slashing. So, it's resistant to literally everything. I think. I don't think it's any worse to use a... Like a combo, like the Ultana. But I may as well do something I can, like, use my shield with. So, like, I could use, like, my axe, which actually has, like, pretty good damage. And then maybe be able to block. We'll, we'll, we'll let the ladybird pass while we consider also our status effects uh we won't want barbarian we would want chopper wherever that is Ladybird, I have bigger fish to fry. Um, I mean, there's not really a huge point in harvesting the remains here, but we'll do it anyway. Um, also, thank you for hurting me before the fight. Okay, status, is that chopper? Axes are an extension of your angry little body. Rending the armor of your enemies. Mastery bonus, which I don't have. Axe attacks apply a buff to you that removes the stamina regen to play delay when not exhausted. That's cool. Um, so we should really be using that. Uh, coup de grass is good. Cardio fan, I really like. We definitely need Mithridatism. Shocking dismissal, not necessarily. Um, I don't know what kind of attack, if smashing or stabbing is what the spider does. I do parry master. But I guess Shocking Dismissal is just as good, maybe, at that point, so... Alright. We're gonna go with it. Oh, and I somehow didn't get the raw science, either? Okay. Okay, we're gonna do that, and that.
Ow. Gosh, we had it so close. It was like two and a half bars. Oh my. That hurts. We can do this. How bad is my equipment damage? Ooh, pretty bad. All right, let's go. Let's go repair. And grab more of all those smoothies that I made. We're not going to have a lot of extra smoothies after this. I think if I had made, um, like, an attack buff or a damage resist smoothie... Um, I think there's one of those options, some forgetting or the details at the moment. Um, I think we'd be in decent shape. I'm just gonna grab all these. Um, and you know what? Alright. We're just gonna put exactly what we need here. We need the axe. We have flare. Axe smoothie just in case it goes away somehow we'll have the shield we'll throw the bandage there and then we're good okay all of that is repaired and then I might just throw the Coltana down here in case I want to use it if, like, I stun... If I stun the spider, maybe I'll pull the Coltana out for a... Um... For a moment. I need to make sure I'm... Well fed here, though. Eh, you know what? We'll just, uh... We'll just eat our aphid jerky. Alright, we had a fire ant for our warm-up this time. Um, all right, we'll do that, and then where is the canteen? I am a blind man. Should be here somewhere, right? Where's my canteen? There it is. No water filtration tablets needed. We're just gonna top that off. I sort this wrong. I did. I got rid of my canteen in my hot bar. Oh well. I'll fix that later. Okay. All right, here's the hole. Genuinely not sure what actually happened there. Um, I think the flares are almost throwing me off more than anything.
But we're gonna make some more anyway. Um. Chuck it down, Pete. Jumped through the ceiling, man. That's not fair. Paying attention to my health. <sighs> All right, I can totally do this. I still have 20 smoothies left. 
a little bit sad that I've used them all right now. That's okay. I think... I, I wonder how many people actually, like, face a Black Widow before the brood mother or an infected wolfie. Ouch, ouch. in my rhythm. Back up. Back up. Okay, I'll back up too. We, we can do this as a dance. But you will die! Oh. I thought I lost you. Give me back all my backpacks. I left you. Oh my goodness. That was awesome. I thoroughly enjoyed that. I'm not gonna lie. Oh man. That is a fantastic mini boss. I I'm a little bit scared that I hear rustling above me. If I have to deal with another one, I might Cry a little bit. Maybe I'm just hearing my torch sizzle. We'll go with that. I am. Yeah. 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 
Now that is a well-earned milk molar. Oh my gosh. Dang. I, I like don't even know what to say right now. Um Yeah, that was that was awesome. Especially since like I haven't fought anything spider wise harder than a wolf spider. That is Seriously, another level. Alright. So, we've got Black Widow Fangs. Weren't we supposed to get Super Venom? I guess we didn't get that this time. Uh, but that's okay. Um, we need to find a spot to go research that stuff, though. Alright. Um, we're hanging on to those. Okay. Uh, don't we have a station nearby? All the way down there. Okay. Um, well, I think our next stop is actually going to be over here. So maybe we just, uh, hit the field station on top of the stump over near the termite mount. All right, well, on my way over here, I'm like crossing a wolf spider. So just as a comparison on how much easier this is. Like, boom, we're done. Absolutely ridiculous. All righty. Uh, where's the entrance to this thing? There we go. Let's analyze these fangs. Oh, wow. Widow hood, widow leggings. But no widow chest plate? Interesting. We're, we're so, so beyond that max level. It's... Just impressive. Um, that Widowhood looked kind of cool, though. I mean, I know it's basically just like a reskin of the Spiderhood. But, you know, it's all sleek and all black. Alright, so. I've attempted to go down here a couple times because I kept forgetting what our resource requirement was uh, to get in. And I kept thinking it was a fancier axe. It is not. It is a bomb. So once I get myself past all these pesky bugs. Burn your feet, Pete. Alright, uh, yes, 
get past all these bugs, uh, then we can go explore this little cavern down here once and for all. Uh, and it is filled with termites, which I believe are still salty. And that is the door that we need to get through. Um, there we go. Equip. Yeah, hack that over there. And finally, explore. Hey, you. Good, good. I actually needed to restock on some termite parts anyway. Uh, since I'd been using a lot to make armor glue. So this works out. Oh my, that's a lot of them. over your friend there, buddy. I mean, I, I guess if they were trying to protect... protect them, then that was a, a very valiant move. Termites are tough. Um, alright. Uh, so there we go. Let's bust this stuff up. Alright, so it looks like adventure number three is mostly just upgrade materials. So... You know, that's slightly disappointing, but at, le at least we get some Supremes in here. Oh, man. There's a lot of you guys. Oh, oh, and you're spitting. All right. I see how it is. Wildly into the bunch. Ow! Oh my gosh, I did not realize I was almost dead. That would have been embarrassing. Alright. Now that we're done with our little termite party. Can I just leave in peace? Um, all right, and that's where we blew it up. I think I can. So we could go explore more of the ravine, but I think we're going to leave that for another day because that whole Black Widow fight took a little longer than I anticipated.
because, you know, I did not expect, like, you know, a, a full-blown mini-boss kind of thing down there. Um, I was mostly expecting the kind of thing we just did with the, um, the termites. Just a quick little in and out for some upgrade materials and maybe, maybe, uh, milk molar as a bonus, but, um, hey, that was an awesome fight, so I'm not complaining. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll grab all the resources out of that ravine another time because there definitely are a lot based on the little bit of exploring down there that we have done so far. Um, Alright, I do need to be careful because I don't have a dandelion at the moment. So we should go chill in the spa in the hot springs for a minute. I guess chill isn't quite the right word. But soothe our achy bones. Nonetheless. Alright, let's see. Our next stop I think is kind of across the yard. So I will uh, kind of trek my way there. And, uh, we can catch up then. So, uh, I'm, I'm here in the haze. Coming back down here and getting some of these goodies, be it, like, feathers or mints, or, uh, even some already dead bugs. That's, that's definitely gonna be on our to-do list for another day as well. But there is one spot somewhere around here that we are gonna try to check out today. Because the crow demands it so. Here we are. So, uh, I don't know if you all remember, but there was one time I was hanging out in one of these ravines and little spiderlings kept just dropping in on me from seemingly nowhere. Well, this is nowhere. Um, yeah, because we were, I think, like, in this ravine, or is this something different? Uh, maybe we can go in from here. I don't know, maybe... Let's just go in here where we know there's a big old wolf spider, rather than letting him possibly ambush us. You know... Yeah, I know. I I murdered your babies. What you gonna do about it? Let me get let me get this axe back out. These guys are too tiny for the spicy coltana. Is that all the spiderlings yet? All right, let's uh, let's just heal on up real quick. Okay, I still hear something big, so maybe that maybe we'll encounter some more friends in here. Um, but in the meantime, I see upgrade materials, and I am nothing if not a hoarder. So they must all be mine. Uh, oh, whoops. I had the wrong bar up. There we go. Help! I'm stuck! Um, I'm not gonna bother with the web sacks, I think because my inventory is pretty darn full. But all this webbing is great. I am curious if these are grubs or uh, if they are... Big spider, be careful! 
Taking a look. Oh, it's just an orb weaver, Pete. You can handle that. <laughs> and you've seen bigger. The infected, uh... The infected Wolfie is is bigger. And I mean, I guess the just straight up Wolfie is bigger. Uh, let's see. We'll we'll deal with the little ones first. Nope, no, we won't. We'll we'll just chop you up. Like you're nothing. And, uh... We'll just hang out in this skeleton. Oh, that's bright, though. Uh, but yeah, up there at the surface, there was that marked rock. And, uh, this, this is, this is this sad little grave site of, like, a... Pet... Rat... Hamster, mouse gerbil something I think hopefully not something bigger I don't know I don't I don't quite remember the lore on this one I don't know was this the guinea pig maybe we saw a photo in the I think it was on the way to the, uh, the hedge lab, and I think the family had a, uh, a pet of some sort, and I, I think that might be the pet. Uh, it did not meet the best end. Oh, it is a grub! Aha! Oh, but the inventory's full now. Uh, sure, we'll keep the grub hide. I think that's the most useful, since we use other things for smoothies. Gum or meaty stuff tends to be better. Uh, oh, hamster. Damn hamster. There we go. Rest rest in peace, buddy. We've, we've cleared your grave out of enemies. Uh, we can finish the job now. Uh, oh, I can't. Can't take that out now. Is there anything we don't want? That's a difficult question. Um, we're hungry. We will eat all of our aphid jerky. There we go. Get those back. I'll take those little bits. And I guess the science was mostly just here to lure you uh, down trapped. in to here. Uh, because yeah. that's not a whole lot that was left for us up there. All right. Well, uh, oh, wrong way. Goodbye, Dan. While we're at a uh, little lab, I'm actually very curious. How many Black Widows are there that we know about? Ooh, there's one hiding in the shed. That's interesting. Uh, okay, one above... Um, above that, like, hedge ledge that is about all that we know about and then we obviously we've killed the one that's right by our home at the cootie catcher that's nice that this is a marked place on the map because we do know that our our new base is right there um interesting okay We'll have to see if there's any more in the unscanned parts of the yard once we can get some scanners activated over there. Alright, so quick, uh, pit stop. We were literally just at a, um, 
a, a research station and didn't think with all the... My goodness, that sounded aggressive, Burkle. Uh, we did not think to check on our milk molars. I'm so disappointed in myself. Um, all right, so. Um, for the milk molars, um, I feel like our stamina's doing all right. I haven't been insanely concerned with hunger and thirst strain. Um, healing has been pretty good. Like, I think that's been a really helpful stat to upgrade, but I think straight up max health right now might also be good. I think kind of balancing these two is good. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for your concentration on what I'm saying there, Burgle. Um, and then, uh, we had been saying for a while that we're wanting to focus on max consumable stack size for our Megas. So there we go. We're actually doing really well on, on Megas, because again, I'm not super concerned with arrow stack size. Um, but we've almost maxed all the other ones out. Oh, and while we're here, um, what do we need to do here? Uh, sure, I'll craft some spider knee pads. Um, make a canteen plus. Eh, no thanks. Um, kill five tadpoles. That's for 50. That is not worth it just because I don't go swimming that much. So we will see what other jobs Burgle might have for us another day. But spider knee pads, that's worth it. Alright, so I think we are nearing where I wanted to explore, and, uh, it is indeed a spider hole. Um, so we had come over here. Help. Uh, sorry, I'm distracted now by fighting things. Alright, so yeah, we had come over near here at one point. Uh, let's see, where exactly was it? Uh, it over look. there? No. Well, somewhere nearby, there was that head. Is it over here? No? Let me look at my map. Yoked girth head. It's down here. There was this yoked girth head, and we tried uh, exploring it, and there really wasn't anything there other than the wolf spider that inhabits it. Uh, yeah, right there. You can just see the top of it. Yeah, and that's what I was looking for. So we, we get a milk molar right around here, and there are some more spiderlings that call this place home. So we're trying to locate that home, and I believe it might be just right under this plank right here. Uh, you, sir, just jumped through a plank of wood. I don't think that is acceptable behavior. All right, can I pick that up now? Where did this weaver go? I wanted to eat you. Excellent. Okay. So I think this is where I want to go. Approaching the mouth of the foreboding cave. What horrors awaited within? What horrors indeed, Pete. Um, a weevil. That, that's it. Alright, we can go home. Ah, oh, no, there's another spider there. I think there might be one stuck over there. Okay. Um, uh, I'm trying to get out my torch. There we go. dun 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 dun, -dun. Yep, there is a milk molar. Anything else scary, or do we take care of the scary part at the entrance? I mean, I definitely hear a sleeping monster.
Boom. Uh, okay, well, a little bit of quartz. Uh, oh my, we just, we just smash right through the brittle kind. Um, okay, well, nothing else I can really see here. So, um, that's pretty straightforward. Yep, I don't really see anything else over here, so I think that kind of covers the last of the spooky spider holes. Um, I mean, we may as well beat this guy up just because. Get our stamina back here. And there we go. Oh, and that's a golden wolf spider. See, it was totally worth it. Um, well, if that's not a sign to wrap things up there, then I don't know what is. Um, I think that's about all I had planned, uh, as far as little exploration, uh, side quests for the day anyway. So, um, I hope that you enjoyed our day of adventuring here after so much, a look. uh, base building, uh, at our new base. Um, we definitely will still be doing that. Uh, this is not the end of base building. Because uh, we still have a lot of work that we need to do before we could even consider calling it a completed base. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm happy that we are in good shape with it. And uh, it felt really good to go have some adventures today. And boy, fighting that, fighting that Black Widow was, uh, was definitely unexpected for me, and that was that was something else. Um, I really enjoyed that, and I'm glad that we'll we'll have some repeats of that fight. Um, and uh, I'm also very interested to see how it compares to the infected wolf spider and the brood mother. We'll have to do those fights sometime soon as well, and uh, compare the three, see what we think the ranking of the three elite spiders of the yard is. I think that next time uh, we may try to do a little bit of exploration in some of those ravines over here and uh, maybe some of the ones back there in the old haze area. Um, we might try to kind of breeze through that pretty quickly and then I think it is time to get back to uh, some main story stuff. Um, I think we have been in the area plenty long enough to go check out Wendell's favorite chair. Um, it's, it's sitting right there, teasing us within eyesight this whole time. I've been running under it to go grab lint a multitude of times over the last couple of episodes. And, uh... You know, I don't think that we can put it off any longer. So, uh, you've got that to look forward to. Main story continues next week here on Cauldron Plays Grounded. Um, yeah. So, uh, with that, uh, we can kind of throw our stuff into the storage building. I love that I can just stand outside and hot deposit it all from here. Um, and, uh, we'll call it a day. Um, as always, thank you guys so much for watching the episode. If you did enjoy your time here, uh, be sure to leave a like on the video. It definitely helps me out and helps the video get discovered by others. Um, and, uh, make sure that you are all subscribed to the channel so that you can make sure that you are notified when the next episode comes out. Um, I, uh... Hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you all very soon with some more Grounded.